Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tony here, coming back with a brand new COC episode, and welcome my friends to a new leak inside of the game. Actually, there are three new leaks, and we're about to show you what's inside of those hidden Christmas presents. So basically guys, Supercell rolled out an update a couple of days ago, and at the end of the update, they said, Happy Clashmas. So we are going to be receiving three new features inside of these boxes, guys. But who wants to wait? Why don't we find out what's inside of them inside of this episode? So you wouldn't believe it, guys. There is a new spell, a new trap, and a new troop coming into the game. And we are going to show you what every single one of them are inside of this video right now. So stay tuned. We're about to get ourselves into some very interesting action. Please ensure if this is the first time you are watching this channel, guys, to make sure you enter the 1 million subscriber giveaway, which actually ends tomorrow. Now, all you need to do to have the chance to win a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One just before Christmas is simply leave a like right now on this episode to enter and to show some support to the channel, guys. So smash that like button and also make sure you subscribe to the channel. Only subs will have the chance to win the prizes. There will be a giveaway tomorrow night live on camera with a face cam. So good luck to everyone. Every single one of you who leave a like and sub to the channel but for now let's get ourselves into the new update leaks guys and let's start with present number one of course and you wouldn't believe it there is a new trap coming into the game and it's actually called the freeze trap and it's unlocked at a very low level so everyone who is complaining saying that supercell isn't given the low town hall levels anything new you're all wrong guys you've all received a new trap it's called the freeze trap and i believe it's actually unlocked at Town Hall level 5. Now there have been loads of people who have sent me screenshots over the last 24 hours because it's actually already in the game, in the coding, but you can't build it yet because it's going to be coming out over the next couple of days. So if you take a look right in the center guys, once you become Town Hall 5 there is a new trap available. It's blue and white. It definitely symbolizes a freeze trap guys and inside of the coding as I said it is called the freeze trap. You never know though, Supercell could change it over the next couple of days and maybe call it something different. So let me just say this before I do move on with the episode. I'm going to quickly show you what update leak number two and number three are. Then we're going to go back to update leak number one, which is the freeze trap. And uh, give it a little bit more detail, guys, and kind of explain what it's actually going to do. So stay tuned for all of that. Do me a favor, actually, guys. If you've made it this far into the episode and cannot wait for this update to land... Go down below in that comment section and comment hashtag purple pony so that when everyone comes on the video and they all go into the comment section, they're going to be like, what the hell is purple pony? And you can all kind of trick them and just say it's the new trap, guys. So go down below in that comment section and comment hashtag purple pony. But for now, let's get ourselves into update leak number two. And this is going to be the new spell which is coming into the game. So this is the official coding which was actually leaked, guys, during the update, when the update was launched. So as you can see, it says Star Bonus, Clan War, Spell Discount for the Jump Spell, Troop Discount for the Wizard, Collector Boost, which is coming in two days' time, Army Boost, and there it is, guys, update leak number two, the Christmas Spell. So there is a new spell coming. I'm not sure if it's actually going to be called the Christmas spell. If it is, will Supercell let us keep the spell or will they take it away once the Christmas update is over and the Christmas period, you know, rolls over, guys? Or maybe they just call it Christmas spell inside of the coding and when it actually comes into the game, it's going to be called something completely different, like, I don't know, the peanut butter spell or, you know, the tornado spell. I don't know, something completely different. So that pretty much covers update leak number two. We're going to come back to it in a few moments time, guys. But for now, let's make our way into the big one. What could the new troop coming into Clash of Clans be? Let's go ahead and show you. So once again, inside of the coding, guys, mentions of the Ice Wizard. So this was actually leaked in the coding two days ago when the Christmas update was rolled out. And this is what's believed to be in present number three. And I think we're going to receive present number one on Thursday, present two Friday, and present three Saturday, which is Christmas Eve, guys. So possibly Christmas Eve, we could be receiving a new troop inside of COC. And I'm going to show you what he looks like in a couple of moments' time. I'm sure you're going to recognize him from a very similar game. What's it called? Oh, yeah, it's called Clash Royale, guys. I think there's a new troop inside of Clash Royale, also called the Ice Wizard, but I could be wrong. Let me show you in a couple of seconds. So check it out. Ice Wizard underscore freeze underscore glow underscore blue. So I'm guessing he's going to be blue. And it says level one. Then it says Ice Wizard underscore freeze underscore dots level one. Then it says Ice Wizard underscore freeze one underscore level one. So I'm guessing... We're going to be getting a blue ice wizard inside of the game. So this is what he looks like, guys. This is actually taken from the game itself. That's what the ice wizard is going to look like. Yeah, he looks very familiar. Do me a favor, guys. Tell me, where have you seen him before? He looks cool. 
So that pretty much covers the three presents which we are going to be receiving over the next couple of days, guys. So as I said, present number one can be expected to roll out on Thursday, present number two Friday, and present number three Christmas Eve, which is Saturday. So that means only one thing. There is going to be a lot of new content coming into the game just before Christmas. So it looks like Christmas Day is going to be very happy for clashes around the world. So please ensure, guys, if you do want to see what these new features look like as soon as they are released, make sure you subscribe to the channel, guys. We will bring you the episodes as soon as they do come out. So as I said, a new Ice Wizard, a new Freeze Trap, and a new Christmas spell. Now, the one which we know the least about is actually the Christmas spell. The freeze spell, the freeze trap, sorry, has actually already been input into the game. So we've already seen it. I've received dozens and dozens of screenshots from my subscribers saying, Tony, what is this? This new random thing has just appeared in my base, not in my base, sorry, has just appeared in the shop, but it won't let me buy it. So obviously the freeze trap is already in the game and it's pretty much guaranteed, guys. That's official. The Ice Wizard, it's inside of the coding, pretty much guaranteed as well. And the Christmas spell, it says inside of the coding, Christmas spell. I just don't know what it's going to be. Do me a favor, if you made it this far into the episode, guys, do you think it's going to be a Christmas spell, or do you think it's going to be called something different? You never know. A couple of years ago, Supercell done a Christmas update, and they put a Santa spell into the game. But the Santa spell was only added for a very short amount of time, guys. So it's, it could be something similar to that. It could be a Santa spell version 2, except they called it the Christmas spell. I'm not quite sure. I'm hoping that it's going to be a permanent spell because, of course, adding more features into the game is always going to just make it better because there's always going to be more variety, more diversity, and it's going to make, you know, the clashing universe a lot happier. So leave a like on the episode if you are completely hyped for this update. But for now, if you are new to the channel, guys, and you haven't really seen it before, my name is, of course, General Tony. And what we're currently doing inside of COC, we're actually trophy pushing, and we're about to build ourselves a very new trophy base in a couple of moments' time. Just before we do, I wanted to show you a couple of replays, guys. So I was basically attacked three times over the last couple of hours, over the last, what is it, day and a half. And two of the attacks used the exact same attack strategy. And the strangest thing about it is they used baby dragons, literally mass baby dragons. Now we're inside of the Legends League, sitting at about 53, 5400 trophies. Right now we're closer to 5300. Last night I was closer to 5400. But unfortunately I haven't found, I think I found one base in the last 20 hours. So I don't really have any attacks to show you guys, which most of you haven't already seen. So there's no point showing you attacks. But check out these defenses. These dudes are actually all using baby dragon armies, and I've never actually tried this before inside of the Legends League, so it could be a cool strategy to try out. He's actually going for a two-star. Fortunately for me, the Eagle Artillery is still up and alive, and there's some buildings which are going to completely distract the baby dragons and not send them into the center all at the same time, guys. But check out this defensive replay. You are going to be shocked what you're about to see. Check it out. So the balloons... And the baby dragons all go towards the left hand side, but two baby dragons go into the center and the timer actually runs out before they can grab the town hall. So he drops down the rage spell. He should have really used the Grand Warden's ability right there to protect the baby dragons which were on the town hall. But check this out guys, one baby dragon on the town hall, not only is he raged up, but he's also under a rage spell. Does that mean he does double damage, like double rage damage? I'm not really too sure. The town hall's about to go down. Maybe one more breath and it would have been taken out. But unfortunately for him, he actually ran out of time and we, we got away with a one star. So that was so damn lucky. So going slightly off track right now, guys, you wouldn't believe what happened. So basically during the recording of this episode, I needed a toilet. So I went downstairs to do a toilet. And as I was doing a toilet, I actually pulled out my phone because I was searching for a base in the Legends League. So I pulled out my phone. I'm weeing with one hand, holding the phone with the other hand. The phone drops in the toilet. I quickly grab it. Get wee all over my hand. The phone is covered in wee. I take off the phone case, dab the phone on my t-shirt. Now my t-shirt's covered in wee. Bring it upstairs, guys. Put it into a bowl of rice because a message came up on the screen saying this device has a problem or something. So I put it in a bowl of rice. And now I've actually got rice stuck inside of the port at the bottom of the phone. So I'm in deep, deep shizzle here. We may actually have to buy a new phone tomorrow because I don't know if it is going to work in the morning, guys. So uh, yeah, hashtag pray for Tony's phone. Hopefully it's going to work. If it doesn't, don't worry. We will buy a new phone, guys. This is an iPhone 6, so I don't really want to lose it. But, you know, if things happen, I shouldn't really be peeing and uh, playing at the same time. That's definitely a wrong thing. So check this out. Let's go back on track here just to finish off this episode. This dude actually uses the exact same attack strategy, balloons and baby dragons. So it must be working if several people are using it inside of the Legends League. I mean, I've never seen this many people use the same thing. 
and actually get victories with it. So it's pretty cool. I've actually just stuck the phone back in the rice, guys, although there was actually a couple of grains stuck in the port. But it doesn't matter. Let's just try and draw out the Wii. That's the important thing. So check it out. He's got a one star. Unfortunately for me, his, his heroes just go into the center. And we all know what's going to happen. He's going to two star my base, guys. Yep, we ended up losing a, I don't think, too many trophies. Actually, I think we lost 17. I'm not really too sure. You're going to see in a couple of moments, guys. There goes the King's ability. The Queen's on the Town Hall. Here we go, we're gonna lose some trophies. There goes the Town Hall, 64%, 65%, 66%, slowly climbing, only a couple of seconds left. I think he actually ends the attack early. Yes, he does, guys. And there we go, minus 17. So we are gonna win the episode here. Leave a like if you've enjoyed it, guys. Subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for the new update features which are coming into the game. There is my first ever Christmas tree. Peace out.